good day everyone. You joined me on an early spring morning. I'm out looking for something a little different today. Um, it's our newest addition to Irish wildlife and it's only recently colonised Ireland. And it's our newest addition also to the dawn course as it loves to not so much sing but drum early in the morning. And you probably guess what it is due to the thumbnail. Um, but it's a great spotted woodpecker. And um, yeah, it's it's recently colonised Ireland and I've seen them out here a few times. There's a lot of mature trees here and they tend to love oak. So if you're ever wondering if there's woodpeckers in, the, in your area, if you head out early in the morning to any forest park with mature trees or anything like that, you will hear them drumming this time of year. Now it's just the start of March, the dawn course is just starting to get a little bit more intense and the birds are really starting to be a little bit more active so a sure sign that swing is well and truly on the way. So hopefully I can find one um, and show you guys um, but I'll take whatever's coming my way. I might get some deer, um, you never know there might be a red squirrel knocking about but uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get. Hope you've enjoyed the video. drumming over there now. It's been quiet here for the last 10, 15, 20 minutes. Actually nearly fell asleep sitting under this tree um, waiting for them to drum. But I'm going to get moving and see can I get a glimpse of one. Now I'm pretty sure there's one drumming in the tree in front of me here. But for the life of me I can't see it. Well we did hear a woodpecker but for the life of me I couldn't find it. But we'll keep looking. Hopefully another one shows itself. So I don't think they're going to be drumming much more this morning. I heard that one drumming um, and couldn't, as I said, for the life of me, could, I couldn't see it. Um, so I came into the woods because I'm assuming they're now foraging. Um, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna set up here. As if you look up here, if you see these, these holes in these trees, this is classic woodpecker foraging. So the idea is, and there's a few on another tree, and if I'm not mistaken, there's a potential nesting site just further over there. You won't be able to pick it up in that camera, but I'll show you guys it now. And that looks like it could have potentially been a nesting site. Has it been dug out for this year? I don't know. Um, so this looks like a good spot to bed down and wait. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit in this log here and there's some old trees and some rotten trees and uh, um, you know fallen trees or fell trees are so underrated. They're a haven for wildlife and a lot of time the best thing to do with a fallen tree is just to leave it. Let it rot as grubs, beetles, you name it will make its way in there and then what what then it is attracted are the birds, hedgehogs and in this case woodpeckers. So there's a lot of old trees here, a lot of broken trees, dead trees. So I'm gonna sit here and wait and maybe hopefully get one. So yeah, fingers crossed. So 
I've been here about ten minutes. And a woodpecker has shown up. And again, just as I said, on a broken tree. And you can see it here foraging. And it looks to be a male. You can tell the males from the red. They're much more vibrant as well. Like in a lot of cases in, uh, in birds. Absolutely fantastic. I'm chuffed to bits. Um, I, was, I was really starting to give up hope and finding them at all. As, uh, I had seen them out here loads but this morning just wasn't going to plan at all. But I've never seen one foraging like this. Here, this, that woodpecker who was stripping the bark from up the top of that tree there. And I saw this drop to the ground. And this is them looking for grubs underneath and anything that may have burrowed into the tree. Fantastic to see. Just here seems to be a little bit of a haven for them. So I'm going to stick around a little longer and see what I can see. So I'm looking at just one of these uh, broken trees that seem to be in this area and there's about five or six of them that the woodpeckers seem to have cleared off there was actually a second one there and I think they were quarreling um, or having a little bit of a disagreement because they one chased the other away so that would probably mean that it was either two males fighting over a female or maybe them fighting over these sites as if you take a look at this tree here you can see all the drill marks in this piece of wood and there's a whole lot of them but if you go a little bit further up that to me looks like a nesting hole of a woodpecker now there's quite a few of them it's still early in the year so I don't think they're being used just yet these are probably last year's one there's another one there and there's another one So they've really obviously taken hold here, but there's not too many places that have old trees like this. And it's something we could nearly implement. When I lived over in, I lived over in Canada for a number of years, and in ecosystems that lacked old trees, they actually put up trees just to rot. They put up poles of wood only for the purpose to rot. And I'd love to see something like that implemented in Ireland. They do just be in a haven for wildlife. But I'm going to get out of here now. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it was a bit of a roller coaster. I didn't think I was going to find them. But uh, here we are. Got some lovely footage of them. I'll definitely be checking in on them later on in the season as well. See how they're getting on. See if uh, they're going to be nesting here. Um, and if I was a betting man, I'd say one of them will take up residence in one of these guys. So I uh, really really interesting to see uh, really glad to see them as I said they're quickly becoming one of my favorite birds they're just so striking in their appearance 
and they're flash with black and white stripes as they dart away and then just a flash red is all you see. It's absolutely beautiful. Alright guys, thanks for joining me and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.